Okay, the next thing I'd like to try and show you is some of the special effects that you can do with your clips in this movie, including titles and other things. So you can look over here under text. This is going to be how you're going to add titles and words to your silent film, or uh, especially including credits. Let's see if I were to drag a simple text. You have flying text, subtitles, color. Let's put some flying text. And you drag it down. Notice that you have a bar that it goes over. And it then will open up. You could change the style of font that you might like to have. How big do you want it to be? Your font size. What color would you like it to be? A centered to the left to the right. And again, you could type on there. Okay, and I want it to fly in from the left. Then we have to hit preview movie to see how it comes out. Hello, ladies. If you notice that when the words fly over, that the words were only on the screen for as long as the clip that I wanted to be. If I wanted the words to be on the screen a little bit longer, I would just drag the text to and from. All right, another thing we can do by clicking on an actual clip, if you want to get rid of all the original audio that's on there, you can mute the audio. This way it won't affect the background music that you're going to have in your clip. And you can also go to video. So again, I was able to click on a clip and it will automatically come out or you can just go to settings. Under video, you can adjust the speed of a clip. And notice that as I make it shorter, it automatically makes the clip longer in time. You can also just keep that video length and it won't affect it. So it would just play in extremely slow motion or it will be very fast. And finally, you can go to effects. Um, this will be this area when I cover on green screen coming up bit, but you can adjust how bright or dark, especially you have a scene that you didn't have great lighting, you can adjust that. And you can make it black and white. You can even have like that old grainy effect. So I can turn all those on. And then you can hit preview movie to see what you've done this time. So you can see on that clip how it sped up and slowed down and had those features. That way it also almost kind of looks like a real live old time silent film. You can also have one more feature that you can do it by clicking on the pen tool right over here. You could draw directly on something. You can even outline it if you wanted to make a motion. So let's say if I want to pick a color right here. Do I want to make a free pencil or just straight lines? How thick do I want it? So I'm going to use the pencil and then you could just draw directly on there. Whoop. And you drawing to make it bigger if you like to. This way you can really see it. And just outline it, do whatever. Maybe if you want to add some exclamation points on one scene to make it stand out. Or you can even draw right on a picture frame to make them look like a cartoon character. You can also adjust, uh, adjust how long or short you want that drawing to appear on your screen. And you could just slide it over uh, by clicking on it. And then if you like you can add another drawing right on top of it. Once I, uh, my scene has been able to re-render for the drawing, I can just click on new drawing and the timeline will automatically start a new drawing right then and there so I can make a new color. I could change it up, I can make it even thicker now and I start drawing. So if you want to have more than one drawing you have to do this each time. And then make sure you hit save when you get done by clicking on the save button as your file clip.